Hi friends, hope you are doing well. Today I will answer a question which has been asked by a viewer in the channel and this is about what are the different fields of technology which are required to understand how drones are produced, how you can design drones and so on. Now of course you know that drones have become an important part of the modern science and technology domain and drones are not only being used for simple things such as delivery of packages but also for complex tasks such as reconnaissance missions and even for military and so on. So as far as drones are concerned, they are essentially flight vehicles. So one of the things, of course, you need to know is flight physics, which will mean that you need to know subjects such as fluid mechanics. But you also need to know certain aspect of dynamics and a specific area known as flight mechanics or flight dynamics. Because what happens is that when these aircraft type systems are flying in air, then the dynamics of these systems needs to be taken into account. And you need to not only look at the aspects of flight here, but also you need to look at some of the aspects of navigation, guidance and control. So as far as drones are concerned, there is no person inside it. So as far as all the control is concerned, it has to be either done by somebody sitting on the ground, somebody who is managing this particular aircraft, or it can be done by some kind of system, robotic system, which is actually piloting this particular flight vehicle. So let us look at some of these disciplines. Of course, if you are planning to make the drone, you need to know the structural aspects. So you need to know solid mechanics, you need to know aircraft structures, you need to know things about composite structures and so on. You also need to know aspects about fluid mechanics, particularly as far as the airflow is concerned. And you need to give specific importance to what is known as low Reynold number flight regimes. So these are essentially situations where the object concerns are pretty small. And therefore what happens is that from a fluid mechanics perspective, you are in the low Reynold number regime. Now, the next aspect is that as far as propulsion is concerned, the drone propulsion is often driven by battery and not by the typical propulsion systems which are used by typical aircraft out there. So battery technology becomes very important for most drone scenarios. Secondly, if you look at the different aircraft out there, they typically use fixed wing, but you will see that many drones are actually using rotor systems. So, Again, there is a lot of commonality between rotors, between propellers and so on. And therefore, you need to learn aspects about rotor dynamics. You need to learn about propeller systems and you need to learn about rotating machinery. If you are trying to figure out how you can build drones and how you can navigate them. Now, the next important topic has to do with control and navigation. And this is because as far as drones are concerned, they do not have any person sitting there and piloting this vehicle. So it's somebody on the ground who is piloting this vehicle or it could be a control system which is actually piloting this vehicle. So in case you are developing some control system like that, then it essentially becomes something which is more in the realm of robotics and computer science. So actually the drone can be thought of as a flight vehicle which is essentially a robotic system. And because it is a robotic system, many aspects which are related to robotics can become important. For example, you need to figure out about real-time coding. You may need to do the coding in the C programming language. And of course, as far as modern day drones are concerned, if you want them to learn with time, learn to figure out things, then you need to learn about machine learning and neural networks also. Now, one of the things which is very important for drone navigation is the use of some kind of GPS system. So again, the global positioning system is out there, which can locate a particular object in space. And therefore, GPS system is often used for navigation of drones. But there are many situations like when you are flying through cities, when you are flying through some kind of hostile territory, that GPS may actually be denied to you. It may be that you cannot access GPS signals, or it could be that some kind of electronic jamming is being used so that you cannot essentially use GPS. So in those cases, you may need to use some different form of navigation, classical navigation technique. So again, all that becomes an important part of figuring out how to make and fly drones. Now, of course, a lot of this thing has to take place in a wireless manner. So wireless technology becomes very important and there are sensors in the drone system. These sensors are going to be very important also 
because these sensors essentially relay the state of the system to the controller and then the controller figures out what control it needs to give to the drone so that it can fly in an appropriate manner and it can perform its different tasks so at the end of the day i would say if you want to figure out about drones you need to concentrate on subjects such as physics math to some extent chemistry but more in the line of what is required for batteries and of course you need to be somebody who knows computer science pretty well because you can think of the drone as a robotic flying system and therefore whatever is required from computer science background is important here and of course robots do represent an important part of mechanical engineering so again systems such as the dynamic systems become important and how you solve these kind of dynamical systems and their behavior in real time also becomes important here.